Let me show you how to enable and use reverse wireless charging on your Samsung Galaxy S25 and also S25 Ultra. So yep, both of these phones actually get reverse wireless charger. Uh, so uh, the charger speed is uh, 4.5 watts. So it's not the fastest, but for watches it's actually like very decent. So can't really complain. And again, you can also charge phones using this uh, phone essentially. So if you need to choose up another phone, you can do that. So first let's go in the battery settings over here and wireless power sharing over here and enable it. So we actually have to enable this every single time that we actually want to charge. And after, after some time it actually turns off. So uh, if you we basically it is staying on, it consumes maybe a bit of energy. So it's probably not the best. Then if you want to charge maybe your smartwatch, obviously if it has a wireless charger, uh, we can simply pop it up on as you see and it actually started to charge. Uh, by the way, there is one thing for the Samsung Galaxy watches. Uh, so uh, Samsung Galaxy Watch 4, 5 and 6 works perfectly, also even older ones. So you can perfectly charge them with this phone. But uh, the newest Galaxy Watch 7 actually can't be charged using a phone because it, basically that uh, Galaxy Watch 7 has a design flaw. So it's uh, the fault of the watch and not the phone. And also we can use S25 and S25 Ultra to charge other phones as well. So as you see, as soon as I basically put it on, it actually starts to charge. So again, uh, when it comes to charging other phones, it's obviously not the fastest, but still in emergency, I think it's very uh, useful. Uh, by the way, also again, the S25 gets a new G2 wireless charging. Uh, so the regular wireless charging speeds, when you actually charge this phone, is 15 watts so we get the same as on the s24 but again uh, we get the better g2 standards which is actually kind of cool anyway good luck